Hi, this is Mr. Jackson. I am here to do an art lesson for the fourth and fifth graders. This art lesson that I'm going to do is connected to our Art From Around the World unit. Um, and the artwork that I'm going to be doing connects to Mexican art. I'll show you a few examples. It's called a mate bark painting, and it's really meant to tell a story of everyday events. So um, you could do anything that you are interested in. It could be a sport, it could be a hobby, it could be an activity, a vacation that you've been on, something you would like to do, um, or something that you have done. And um, let me show you a few examples. I'm going to take some pictures and put these as part of the lesson. But this poster kind of shows some of the things that I would include in your Amate bark painting, drawing, whatever materials you have. I'm gonna make mine a drawing, not a painting. Um, but I'm gonna start off here with a border and then I'm gonna do three large shapes and then around those shapes, I'm gonna stack shapes in between. It really uses a lot of repetition um, which creates pattern and it's not meant to be realistic. So it's going to have unusual sizes. Um, it's going to have outline shapes, which I'm going to outline with a marker, bright and unusual colors. So it's more abstract in its style than realistic. You can see, I'll show you, these ones are done on really big papers. I drew, um, I, um, this have visited Mexico a few different times. So this one is, um, about, um, uh, some of my, time traveling throughout Mexico and um, the Day of the Dead um, and the celebration of life that was there with um, like the candles, the flowers, um, uh, different uh, different objects that I saw. And these really would be my large shapes. So I've got like one large shape, two large shapes, and then this that I haven't painted yet, this picture frame would be a third large shape. Um, this one is another one. You can see that it has a lot of bright colors. It has shapes that are stacked on top of each other. Now this is more connected to the one that I'm gonna do today. Um, this is just about really liking Tigers baseball. So this is about going to a baseball game. This is uh, kind of my large shapes as uh, myself watching the game and then the, the stadium here. And then I would consider this a large shape, which is like um, kind of a railing that would uh, be in front of the field here. Um, this is the one that I'm going to draw today. Uh, my three large shapes here are this umbrella, the sandcastle, and the sailboat. Um, and then I'm going to stack shapes in between. So think about something that you like to do that tells a story about you. Um, and some of the examples I'm going to put on this lesson um, are plants and animals. Um, you're going to see those in Amate Bark examples if you look those up online. Um, but they tell stories. It could be about a sport or, or an event or um, really just a landscape, a picture of the outdoors. In order to make this, I'm going to sit down for this part. In order to make this a, um, give it a little bit of bark texture, this is really like you could use a paper bag, you could use a brown paper, you could use really any paper that you want. Um, I chose brown paper to make it look more like bark. I'm going to crumple it up to give it a little bit of texture, and then I just have to be careful opening it so I don't rip it. If you rip it, it's not a big deal because you can just put some tape on the back. And then I'm going to do it probably, I don't know, four or five times. If you do it more than five times and the paper gets really soft and really thin, so let's do it one more time. Just a little bit of texture. So. Once I have that done, then I'm gonna do my best to smooth it out. And since I wanna make this really detailed, I've chosen to use a small piece of paper. This is really like eight inches by eight inches. Um, so it depends on how detailed you want it to be. So it's a little bit smaller than that. So I'm gonna start kind of like with this, what this poster said, putting a border on here. Um, if we were doing this for art, we would probably spend about three times drawing these and I'd have you start out, out with pencil. I'm gonna draw mine with marker just so you're able to see it. Um, but if you wanna spend a lot of time on it, I'd probably say just start with pencil, then outline it and then color it or paint it. Once I have the border on here, I will probably draw the border as I start thinking about what my large shapes are gonna be. So this, I'm gonna make it very similar to the one that is right here. 
just so you can see how this one was created. So I'm gonna do kind of these sun shapes in the corner. Um, my family likes to go to the beach and we feel really lucky to live here in Michigan and have Lake Michigan. So hopefully this summer, we're gonna be able to get a chance to go to Lake Michigan and spend some time on the beach. So I'm gonna do some sun shapes. I'm even gonna add some circular sun shapes in here. And I'm using repetition. By repeating the same shape on all four sides of this border. And then your border does not have to have shapes that tell the story about what's on the inside, but I've chosen to make mine suns and clouds since it connects kind of to this beach theme story. But if you just wanted to use circles or triangles or squares or just designs or patterns, that can be fun too. So once I draw these out, I'm, try to, I'm gonna try to do a simplified version of this so it doesn't take as much time. Um, so I'm gonna do my three shapes, my three big shapes for this one. I'm gonna do kind of an umbrella shape. Then I might do a sandcastle shape. And then maybe put some windows in here or something. Once I have these, I'm just gonna fill these in black so I don't have to color them black. I might put a flag or something on top. So that's one shape, two shapes. My third shape is gonna be a sailboat shape. Um, And now that I have three large shapes, then I can fill shapes in between. So that's where I did um, like just add, adding wave shapes and having those stack on top of other ones or maybe having an umbrella and then the um, umbrella is stacked on top of the towel. Maybe I'm gonna have um, beach grass and the towel is stacked on top of that. Um, and then you can see, and this one will switch over to, or well, let's just stay here for a second. And then I maybe could stack a sun shape on top of the wave shapes. So it's not meant to have a realistic perspective. It's just kind of a fun stacking of shapes. Once I have all of that, you can see that I added my family and stacked those kind of in between that. So here's my son, Graham, my daughter, Maeve, and here's my wife. Here's me, so um, that it's connecting to that story that's being told. When I color this, I'm using color sticks like we use or art sticks that we use for um, at school. You could do crayon, you could do marker, you could even, these ones are painted. Um, this is a painted one. So use whatever materials you have. Um, I'm gonna do mine with color stick. So uh, the nice thing about using brown paper is that these really, um, if you press hard, then bright colors and dark colors will show up on this brown paper. Um, I'm not gonna color all of this, but with this here, instead of just coloring this all one color, if I outline it with one color and then I fill it in with another one, it doesn't take a lot of extra time but it gives it a little bit, um, I think, more visual interest and a little more fun to look at. So I did it red, and then I'm going to use this lighter red. You can see that I'm pressing super hard so there's no brown paper that's showing through. And then I can do kind of the same idea with using, like, orange And then instead of just coloring it all orange, I might do orange and then put 
a light orange on the inside. So try to press really hard with your colors, get those colors to really pop out. Um, I did the same thing with all of the water. I outlined it with blue. I'll just do like one little corner here. I outlined it with blue and then I took a different blue and I filled it in. And I even added some white to make it look like the waves were crashing. So it doesn't take a lot more time to do that, but I feel like it looks a lot more interesting when you use multiple colors. Um, this one here, you I'll just move over to this and wrap this up, but you can see that I used kind of a brown to do those edges, and then I filled it in with a lighter brown. Or with this green, I did like a darker green here, and then I did a lighter green on the inside. I purposely chose to leave this border the brown paper, so it made everything on the inside stand out with those bright colors. So all the shapes on the inside I colored, and then on the border I just colored the shapes that I drew, but I left that outside space brown to kind of contrast it. With the sky, I colored it from red to orange to yellow, orange to yellow to create a sunset color because I didn't want to do blue water and a blue sky, otherwise those two things would blend together. So try to press your color on hard. Use these ideas of starting off with a border, three large shapes, then stacking shapes to fill it in with lots of detail, repeating things to create pattern, unusual sizes so it's a little bit more abstract, outlining of shapes and bright colors and unusual colors too. So. so I hope you have fun with this. Please keep being creative using your artistic talents. I miss seeing you all. Um, please feel free to post pictures of your work um, so we can see it. And um, I will talk to you soon. So have a good day.